Video 2. Selection of production system and breeds. This video is part of a series developed for the Sustainable Wildlife Management Program to provide guidance for a successful family poultry production. Do you know that there are different types of small-scale family poultry production? There are four types of production systems. Small extensive scavenging, extensive scavenging, semi-intensive, and small-scale intensive. They range from low input, low output, to high input and high output. To select the system that will work best for you, you should ask yourself questions such as Will you be raising chickens for eggs, meat, income, or perhaps a combination of these? Will poultry production be your main activity? Or are you looking for a side activity that won't require too much of your time? What breeds are available in your area? Are production inputs, for example vaccines, feed, readily available in your area. In small extensive scavenging systems, the chickens can roam freely during the day and little or no supplemental feed is provided. Flock sizes generally range from one to five birds. During the night, the birds usually find their own shelter and can roost in trees for protection. Basic poultry houses can also be built from local materials. Breeding is uncontrolled, and there is a potential for high losses of eggs and chicks to predators such as wild birds, dogs and snakes. Production is generally low and is aimed at household use. Little time is spent caring for the birds. In extensive scavenging systems, poultry scavenge and roam about freely during the day, and when night comes, they are kept confined to an enclosure. Flock sizes often range from 5 to 50 birds. Some varying amounts of supplemental feed, including commercial rations, may be provided. Higher levels of production can be achieved than in small extensive systems due to larger flocks and can satisfy household demand, and even occasionally providing an income when there is a surplus. This production system requires more time and inputs. However, it is still considered low input and low output. In extensive systems, disease control can be problematic because birds are allowed to roam freely, and healthy birds can mix with infected birds, and few farmers vaccinate their birds. In semi-intensive production systems, the birds are confined indoor most of the day, or confined to a yard with limited scavenging. Flock sizes generally range from 50 to 200 birds for this system. Scraps and commercial rations are provided daily. Satisfactory levels of productivity are achieved in this rearing process, and access to market becomes important. Some higher investment of time and finance must be dedicated to the poultry with this system. Finally, in small-scale intensive production systems, poultry are kept completely confined in specially constructed enclosures and fed entirely on balanced commercial rations. These operations usually focus on poultry for either meat or eggs. This rearing is often the primary household activity and deals with large numbers of birds, typically from 50 to several hundred. This production system is largely focused on commercial sales, generally in urban markets. In extensive systems, Birds are usually of indigenous breeds, such as the Creole. While in semi-intensified and intensified systems, 
Specialized birds are usually used due to their different characteristics. Crossbred birds can be found in semi-intensified or extensive scavenging systems. Indigenous breeds are typically kept in rural and peri-urban areas and are considered inefficient in commercial farms due to their lower productivity. Nevertheless, they are ideal for low input poultry systems. They are dual purpose. Hence, they produce both meat and eggs. They are well adapted to their environments and are resistant to diseases, can scavenge for food and are able to avoid predators because they are agile and fast, with the color and patterns of their feathers providing natural camouflage. Hens have a strong instinct for brooding, which enables them to hatch their own eggs and care for the vulnerable chicks. There is often a broad base of traditional knowledge and wisdom that can be used to improve the performance of indigenous village chicken. Various crossbred chickens are also available in some regions. Their meat and egg production is relatively good when well managed. Genetically improved specialized chickens are used by the vast majority of large-scale commercial poultry producers, but can also sometimes be used for the small-scale intensive production system. They can be either layers for egg production or broilers for meat production. Broilers and layers should be fed a commercial, well-balanced diet, which changes as they grow and requires strict hygiene and health practices. It is important to understand that for these improved chickens, chicks should be bought from or at a professional hatchery each time a new flock is needed. Indeed, improved hens have lost the ability to go broody, and the offspring will lose some of the specific qualities after one or two generations. Take-home messages. Extensive systems with indigenous or sometimes crossbred birds are a good choice for having nutritious food without having to invest much time or many resources. Intensive or semi-intensive systems with crossbred or commercial breeds can generate higher profits but require more investment and a good access to inputs and markets. In the other videos of this series, you will learn more about how to manage the different chicken breeds in the different family poultry systems, with a focus on extensive scavenging systems.